Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to join you from the President's residence in Jerusalem as you acknowledge and celebrate Beit HaLochem and the critical work it does for our wounded IDF veterans, the heroes of Tzahal. The IDF, as each of us knows, is a rich and diverse tapestry of young men and women from every walk of life, unified by their commitment to ensure the welfare, well-being and security of our Jewish homeland. It is our people's army. It is our daughters and sons, our brothers and sisters, our fathers and mothers who are called upon to serve from all facets of Israeli life, from all religions and beliefs. However, they never know the extent of sacrifice that may be demanded of them. For soldiers wounded in service, the mark of their sacrifice is imprinted upon their life stories forever. Their courage is not confined to the battlefield, really, it only starts there. Because wounded veterans are asked to reach deep for courage every day of their lives. It is there in the decision to get out of bed for a grueling round of physiotherapy after another sleepless night or in the determination to boldly confront the scars of post-traumatic stress through agreeing to ongoing therapy. It is there in the bravery to hold on to every sliver of independence even when life has suddenly irreversibly changed. It is there in that choice to keep imagining a future knowing that it will be different from the future once imagined. We, never, we will never be able to restore the losses or heal the grief of individuals who have made sacrifices so that we as a society can flourish and thrive. But we can offer our absolute loving support for their physical, emotional and material needs. And by making their well-being our priority, we can let them know that their sacrifice is seen, valued and honored in Israel and throughout the Jewish world. So dear friends, I've seen with my own eyes how Beta Lochem provides a space and support that helps our wounded warriors heal in both body and mind so that they can live their best possible lives. And in doing so, it pays a debt that belongs to us all. So therefore, your support for IDF veterans is proof of the ties of peoplehood that hopefully justify the sacrifice of our soldiers. It is a true testament to the bonds that keep us together, and I thank the management of Beta Lochem and chairman of the handicapped IDF veterans organization, my good friend, Idan Kleiman. To all of you, on behalf of the Israeli people, thank you all very, very much. Toda Abba.